Can you guess what it is? The Dick Smith Electronics DZ300, otherwise known as the Laser, Laser 200, Laser 300, or Laser 310. So I think it's a VTEC, VTEC machine. Uh, this is the, uh, the one that was distributed in Australia by, by Dick Smith. So, um, what have we got? UHF out. We have a, a user serviceable parts. Okay. I think we've got a printer maybe and an expansion. And we have a composite out tape input output, I guess. Maybe that's maybe it's a Saratech. I'm not sure about that. And um, 2.1 mil 9 volt DC input. So um, I've already refurbished this uh, quite some time ago before I was doing videos. So I had to glue one of the one of the keycaps had the broken key stem. So I've actually had to glue one on. Um, Blue power LED, of course. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Does that fit in there? That fits in there. Okay. So it's um, it's got a regulator, a 780. Well, it did have a 7805 until I got my hands on it. So it's got a regulator that steps it down to 5 volts. So I'll stick 9 volts in. Um, and capture some... Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll just connect it up to the this screen to start with just to see if it's working and then I'll capture it, uh, connect it up to the um, to the capture because the reason why I've got this out is because mr. Ben Ben's version 2 of his SD card loader has arrived so there's a bit of a story behind this which kind of slightly involves me so uh, anyway, let me get this set up. Okay, so as I was just saying to a non-recording camera, uh, the, the story, kind of the story behind this is that um, I, I got one of these, I wanted the SD interface, um, and Ben very kindly made the, the files available um, so we can make up our own. So, you know, to make it worthwhile, I had 10 made up, and I think I was going to keep two, and so I tried to sell the rest on eBay for you know eight bucks or something. Um, but unfortunately, people didn't want just the board; they wanted it made up. And it's like, oh, okay. And of course, me being stupid, me saying, yeah, okay, sure, why not? I've got nothing else to do at the time. And um, so it took a while, and you know, so I had to order ten lots of parts and blah blah blah. Um, and also, uh, Ben helped me out with some of the parts as well that were hard to get. So he's, he's well, I, you know, I bought some parts off him as well, including the Alteras because they were um, kind of obsolete. Anyway, um, my first attempt, <laughs> I um, I made the mistake of putting the Altera on the wrong way around. So you got a big circle and a small circle. I had the big circle up there, didn't I, for pin one. And um, I did try with my hot, hot air gun to, to twist it around. It was a total mess. So board number one, wipe out. Um, so this is board number two. Um, part of all, also the issue for me was, I can, you can see all the surface mount, is that trying to figure out how to program using the headers here. Um, unfortunately, you can't just drill through because there's tracks on the other side. So I had to try and figure out some way to to attach programming headers that I could then remove and put onto the next one, program, remove, put onto the next one. So I've come up with this. And anyway, so I tried to program it. And look, I'm, I'm a Mac person, I'm not a Windows person. And the software to program this um, has been bought by various companies. So I think it's currently with Intel. So I was trying to find out, what, you know, trying to find the right software to use in the first case. Um, and anyway, so I've, I tried it on the window box I had, and it just wasn't working. Um, I think Ben suggested that there's a web version or something I can use. Um, but since then, you know, I've become a bit busier with the with the YouTube videos, and and this kind of fallen by the wayside because, to be honest, I don't have confidence that I'm going to be able to do it. Um, so people 
people's um, getting sick of waiting for me. Well, I only had 10 anyway. But getting sick of waiting for me to do this kind of prompted Ben to, to have a look at another look at his at his design and he's improved it. He's added uh, joystick headers onto it, I, I believe, under here. Um, so, and, and other, other various improvements. I had a case professionally made up as well. So, <laughs> I guess... I, in a little, in a small way, it's kind of partly due to me, but in a negative way because you know it was my slackness and not getting these ready, getting these done, that prompted Ben to 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 go ahead and do this. So, um, and of course, I totally forgot to order one of these um, because I was busy with other stuff. But Ben had a couple of left over, so I ordered ordered one off him, and it finally arrived uh, yesterday. But I thought have a quick before we plug that in. Have a quick look at what else I've got. So I've got a 16k RAM expansion and a pair of uh, rather nifty joysticks. So let me turn this off because you never ever plug anything in or switch it off when the power's on. So let me just turn that off. So we'll stick the RAM expansion in. <laughs> stick. Looks like okay. Looks like. I think one, I don't know if the other one's printer, one's expansion and one's user. Maybe it's a, yeah, maybe one is expansion interface and the other one's user interface anyway. <laughs> so there we go. So I think that's with, I can't remember, is it a 16K? I can't remember how much RAM it comes with by default. But we've got the expansion in, we've got our joysticks in. It doesn't tell. I don't know if you can print home M or something like that. Print home M. Home M is zero. Well, okay, so if home M is a variable, then it would probably be zero. Anyway, I don't know how to do it on this. So there's probably some command to find out what top of top of RAM is. But um Yeah. So that's kind of my setup. I've also got the um the data quarter, cassette recorder for it as well. That feels a bit wobbly, doesn't it? But let's try Ben's latest SD interface. Okay. In case you're interested, this is what the the data quarter looks like. So I'd need to have a look. So we've got ear remote mic. So but we've only got a single input on there. Anyway. What else have I got? I've got the manual for the 16K. <laughs> I'll turn that off. 16K RAM. Oh, here we go. So this tells you how to check how much RAM, I guess. Okay, tell the phone to check whether... Okay, type in print peak 3897, return. Blah, blah, blah. First instruction result will be 255, be 247. Okay. So well, I can I can do that, but it doesn't matter because this has got a RAM extension in it. We've got our joystick interface, data cassette recorder, got the main main unit manual. Looks like well well used, and the giant book of games. Wow, by Tim Hartnell. So um, lots of games. <laughs> Cool. I should, I should make my son type some of these in. So you can moan about how long it takes to download a download a game. Well, <laughs> try sitting there and typing it in. All right. So let's switch this off and let's get um, let's see how this works. So apologies for the kind of dodgy. Screen capture. I did try capturing it with my Elgato capture thing, but um, <laughs> it doesn't like the output so much. Right, so let's try. Um, let's try loading. Well, let's see what dig out. So this is where I tried. Yes, okay, joystick, but. Um, it didn't work. Okay, dig out. Press play. I for instructions. 
You must track down and kill the underground monsters and dragons of Dig Dig. Okay, all right. Um, okay, right, yep. So it's basically Dig Dug, okay. Okay. All right, arrow keys. What? Mm. All right, let's just try. Uh, no. Oh, there I am. Okay, Q and A. Oh, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> look at the screen. Is this Dig Dug or is this? Yeah, it looks like Dig Dug. Um, or well, it's kind of like, okay, so. All right, it is space. Okay, right, I get it. Okay. Whoa. All right, come up. Oh, okay. No, we're going to keep doing it. Okay, right, got to hold it down. Okay. Whoa, look at that noise on the screen, eh? Ah. Really pixel perfect, eh? Okay. This fellow's coming up. Come on. Just look at that noise. Done. Okay. All right. See if I can drop a rock on them. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, so I can't hold the rock there. Okay, fair enough. Oh, jeez, it's terrible. Okay. Will this fall down after me? No. All right, it's coming up. <laughs> All right. All right, last one, last one. Ah, I wasn't down far enough, so yeah. All right. There we go. That was whatever that was called. Fair enough. There we go. So I'll, um, it's quite late at night, so I'll open it up tomorrow because there is a there is a um, uh, you can add extra video RAM to get a higher resolution mode. Um, I don't think I've got the parts. I'm going to have a look if I've got the parts, but I might try that. Anyway, so that was the VZ three hundred in all its green glory.